Hey, how you doing? Welcome to September uh, 8th, I think. I'm eating a little bowl here of uh, Raisin Bran Fiber One. I find that it's highly nutritious, and I like it a lot. Um, it makes you poop better, which is always good. Um, so if that's too much information, I'm sorry, but it's true. Come on, let's not lie. You want to poop better. It's one of the basic human necessities, okay? Remember that. All right, now I just got to say something real quick. I just finished my bike ride, and a bee, a bee, you know, like one of those guys, he was flying at me, you know. I see this guy coming. Hits me like, I have my sunglasses on, by the way. This thing hits, like, the top of my glasses, like, flies down into my eye, like, eye area, like, my eye behind, the, like, sunglass. I've never, like, reflected something so hard, but I just, like, like, I just, like, I don't even know where it came from. My fingers just, like, hit my sunglasses up. This thing just, like, died or something. I don't even know where it went. But I've never, like, re reacted so fast in my life. It was crazy. Um, that being said, Raisin Bran is a fantastic cereal. I highly recommend it. Uh, I don't care what people say. Raisin is a really good fruit. By the way, this box art, can I just say, this box art just gets me extremely happy. Like, you've just got this dude on there. Look at him. Oh, the glare, the glare on the DVDs reflecting on my glare on my keys. Um, no, man. It's just this box art. It gets me, like, I look at this thing and I'm like, I want to play this game right now. I'm about to pop it in. But then I look at the clock and it's 1 p.m. And I've got work tonight. And I can't. Nick, it's 1 o'clock. Where are you? We're supposed to play Battlefield. You're nowhere to be seen. I'm about to message you on Facebook. I don't know. You're running late, man. I'm freaking out. Are you okay, dude? Are you okay? Okay, you're probably okay. But still, you need a, like, I don't know. Um, what else is going on? I haven't really planned anything. Um, I guess tonight we'll, we'll have something to talk about, because it's going to be pretty cool. Something, something is happening at work. Let's just say that. Teaser. Promotion. Alright, now we'll leave you with that. Now, I do want to talk about Final Fantasy XIV. I have played a, a various amount of games lately. Um, you know, I started near. I got about ten hours in the near. I was liking it. I was... The intro makes me want to play it, because it looks like there's a lot more story that gets involved. But as of right now, it's very bare with the story, and I'm just kind of like, Ehh. Um, Dragon's Dogma, I started that up. I loved it. I thought it was fun. That, that to me, I love, I love RPGs where you can pick your class, and then you get a distribute... Was it a distributing step? I don't even remember anymore. But I just, I felt like I was doing some crazy stuff. I made a new character, and I made a pawn. Um, who's calling? Hello? Hey, Nick, you're probably one else who did not want you. Now, let me ask I'm probably going to sleep in the next hour. Uh, 10 o'clock, I guess? There. Alright, let me, but... Alright. That was Frizzleberry telephoning in. Starring Father. That was who I was on the phone with. Hmm. One thing I will say about those raisins and Fiber One's raisin bran, they are a little stiff. Um, it does take a little pressure to bite into one and squeeze it, but ultimately, you do get the full raisin flavor. I do like it. Now, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Dragon's Dogma or something? Oh, by the way, I haven't showed you guys my new poster yet, have I? I will show you that. Alright, now, 
fans of the X-Files, you will like this poster. You'll be like, he got the poster. Oh my god, he got it. That's a teaser. There it is. Oh, Baba Moom. I want to believe. Fox Mulder. I believe. Alright, that's a nice. Look at that lamp, yo. Is it me or does the colors red and light bulb from a lamp look good? I think it looks good. Alright. But yeah, it's a nice poster. It's the uh, oh, it's the classic I want to believe poster from X Files. Excellent show if you guys haven't watched it. It's on Netflix for instant stream. Go watch it. Um, you know it's eight or nine seasons, so be prepared to watch like I think it's a hundred or two hundred episodes. Every episode's an hour. It's good stuff. Um, but getting back to what I've been playing, Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I I think it's safe to say I've played like ten hours or so around there. I'm level 13, thir no, no, I'm over that, I'm level 16 or 17 now. So I'm progressing, f you know, not too fast, someone told me that they can get to level 10 in probably like an hour or two, which to me seems not impossible, but unrealistic, like, I don't get how you do that. Because um, right now it seems like the fastest way to level up is from questing and killing mobs, and then doing, um, whenever a... Fate appears, the basically the multi-group events that pop up on the map, where like, let's say, um, you've got ladybugs nearby, right? That's one of the monsters. Now, every once in a while, a giant ladybug will appear, and then every player in the area will get a notification saying, Fate is in the area. If they go to that area, then they can fight the giant ladybug, and basically it's a... It's... Like, multiplied stats of that mob, so, like, it still does a lot of the moves that the Ladybug does, but it's got, like, ten times the health, ten times the defense, and so on. It basically takes, I think it's potentially unlimited players can fight that mob. Um, the biggest ones I've done in probably good good ten to twenty people in their fighting monsters, it's pretty cool. Um, those give you pretty good experience. It's not that they give you good experience, it's just, it's, like... A good chunk of experience for relatively a fast amount of time you're putting into it. You know, I've never been in a fate that was more than a couple minutes, so that's always fun. Um, but basically, yeah, it's it's just like any other MMO. You go from area to area, uh, doing like usually a main. St well, this game has a main story and then it has a class a job story. Like whatever class you pick has its own storyline. So since I picked an archer, I joined the archers guild. And then, um, do some stuff. It seems like it's intertwining with the main story, though, or something now. Um, I'm, I'm at some crystal ceremony. I think it's the level 15 quest that everybody's talking about. I guess the game opens up a bit at level 15. You get an airship and you can go to other cities and stuff like that. One thing that I think is interesting that they're doing here is they're limiting the classes, too. Um, and every MMO, usually, you can... Any MMO that lets you have all the skills, like, f you can have fishing, you can have blacksmithing, you can have armorsmithing, you can have leatherworking, you can have cooking. They generally have all those skill trainers in the same city. This game spaces them apart, okay? Now, I'm in the forest starting area. Oh, God, what the hell is it? I always forget his name. I can't remember it. I, I can't. Um, I'm in the forest area. The only skill teachers there are leatherworking. Um, there's like two or three other ones, <laughs> I can't remember those either. But basically, from what I understand, you have to go to the other cities to get those classes. And the cool thing about this game is every class goes up to level 50. So, let's say you could be playing Archer, you're level 50 Archer. You could go to Culinary Arts and level up the, your Culinary Skills to level 50. And each of these skills have... Well, each of these classes have their own set of skills and outfits and gear that they can equip. And it's interesting. You don't really see MMOs do that. And from what I understand, it's as simple as just learning the job and then equipping that job's weapon, its main hand. Um, so, like, it'd be a knife if you were a chef. It'd be an axe if you're a blacksmith. It'd be a pick or a woodcutting axe if you're in the woodcutting. And so on. It's It seems like a pretty interesting idea. Um, I haven't played with it yet. I guess I'm near the point where I can. Um, I just got permission from my guild to be able to join other guilds. So that means I can go join the Conjurer's Guild and learn how to be a Conjurer. I could go join the Lancer Guild, become a Dragoon or something. Um, and then I guess also you get a job promotion. So 
eventually the original Final Fantasy classes open up. So you're not playing a Marauder, you're not playing a... What the hell is that mage class? It's like a Puegamilis or something. A Perdulgulis. Something like that. It's a crazy name. Um, but what I'm thinking here, what I'm thinking here, is that I'm going to play... Get this, get this. I'm going to play everything. Okay, now shh. Now that sounds like quite the task. You're like, Frazzleberry, do you know how long it takes to level up one of those classes? You're going to have to do that with every class. And listen here, guy. I know. I know it's going to take a while, but you know what? I'll stick with it. No, I won't. I'm Just like with every game, I'm going to get bored. I'm going to say, I'm not feeling this anymore. I'm just going to put down the disc. I'm going to go find something else. I'm going to play it. Possibly tomorrow with Kingdom Hearts HD 2. Go buy it at GameStop. Today, tomorrow, actually, to be honest. And it's not actually Kingdom Hearts 2. I said Kingdom Hearts HD 2, that made no sense. It's actually Kingdom Hearts 1, Rechain of Memories, and 358 Days. Now, people, what we're, on, what we're dealing with here is potentially one of the best HD collections out there. Now, personally, I'm saying Metal Gear Solid HD collection is the best. Alright, now remember that. But this game potentially could be the best HD collection out on the market. So I'm pretty excited. I don't know if I'm going to play it, but I'm excited. Alright, so hey, I'm going to end the video here. I've got work tonight, 11 to 8 a.m. I'm excited, I'm excited. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting. So goodbye. Bye.